Welcome all to my YouTube channel. Built this circuit here. It's a Myers modified circuit. It's an 8XA. Had to install a fan on it because some of the components were getting hot. It's important to keep them cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Turn this switch off first. Turn on my Variac. It's hooked into the Myers circuit here. You notice the 12 volt circuit right here is activated the pulsing side for the SCR right there. This is or this one here is the input AC 0 to 110 volts this is 0 to 110 volts direct current have it at 1 amp and 6.9 volts direct current my one cell fuel cell It's actually putting out some hydrogen. And as you can see, I'm trying to measure the hydrogen output right there. There's a one liter bottle, and it's actually measuring the output. I time it the time it takes to fill that one liter bottle. It's taking too long, for sure. I don't know if you can see the output very much. I'll shine a flashlight on it. I'll shoot a red laser at it as well. I cut slots in the stainless steel tubing to see if it would make any difference in the hydrogen output. And I can't see too much difference right now. Thought it might react like the VIC that Stanley Myers came up with. But I got a slot cut in this side and over on the other side you can't see. Right here, there's a coil that I wound, I have two of them, to try to cut back the amperage, wired into the one cell fuel cell.
show you what this looks like from the back side. It's all pretty compact. selector switch right here to get different pulse rates and your rheostats or potentiometers to get different pulses as well different space and time I'm not sure I don't have a problem with the SCR though because I don't see the needle pulsing. I might try, try replacing that SCR and see what happens. I'm going to crank it up to 2 amps. get a little more production well I hope you enjoyed this video that's it for now thank you